Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to share this video with you guys today. So today's video is going to be a haul. It is a haul from TJ Maxx. I actually made two trips there in the last couple weeks and so this is from two different trips. By the way, before I get into it, this is not a sponsored video. I just love TJ Maxx and I happen to shop there frequently um, and I always find good stuff but the last couple times I was there, I scored so big. I had to share this with you guys because if you have a TJ Maxx near you or a Marshalls because they carry similar products, I definitely suggest that you run over there and see if you can find any of these deals because I scored so big, you guys. But if you're not familiar what TJ Maxx and Marshalls, their sister companies, uh, what they are is like a, um, they purchase um, products that are either like overstocks um, where a company might have made too much of a product or products that are being discontinued so a lot of times I find products that we carry at Sephora that are like still full price at our store and then I'll go next door to TJ Maxx which is literally across the parking lot from us and um, find the same products for like half the price which is like always an exciting moment and I have a ton of beauty products to share with you guys in this haul um, I do have some non-beauty related products that I wanted to kind of show you guys first, um, so we'll get those out of the way and then I will show you all of the beauty stuff at the end. So so if you guys enjoy watching these types of hauls, please make sure to give this a thumbs up so that I know you like it and I will share more of these in the future with you. Um, I did show a lot of this already on my Snapchat, so if you follow me there you would have seen some of these products, but some of these I didn't show you guys because I knew I was going to film this um, after my second trip when I got all of the rest of this goodness. I knew at that point that I had to film a haul to show you guys because, um, yeah, I definitely suggest you check out your stores. So if you follow me on Snapchat, you would have seen a little bit of this. If not, um, you can follow me. I have my information down below. Um, but if you want to see these types of hauls on my channel here, let me know. Um, just leave me some comments and stuff like that because this is something I typically just show on my Snapchat, but just because of the sheer volume of stuff I found, I thought it would be appropriate to film this haul for you guys today. So let's start out with the non-makeup. As I mentioned, I did get a few um, other things. I found this super cute little um, organizer. It is like a mail organizer um, and it was $12.99 um, which I think is a pretty decent price. I feel like that's probably about what I would have paid at Target or something like that. So not a super good deal but I really really liked um, how cute this is. It's just very basic white one. I'm either going to put this on my desk or I'm going to put it um, downstairs in my kitchen where I sometimes sort mail. Um, I'm planning to, um, you guys can see some of my desk behind me right now, um, but I am planning to extend this desk. I have a corner right here that you guys can't see on camera. Um, th so like the corner of my room is right there and then it extends that way. And I kind of want to go to Ikea and see if I can find a piece because um, that wall is just blank right now and I really need more storage. Like I feel like I'm just bursting at the seams with um, not just product, like, yeah, I feel like my nine drawers does pretty good organizing my product, but I don't really have a place, a good amount of storage for, for like my organizational stuff, uh, my planner and things like that. And my skincare is like overflowing right now too. So I would really like some more storage options. So I might be doing that soon. Um, leave me a comment and let me know if you guys want to see me do a video if I do end up doing that. I also found this super cute little set of coasters and it comes with this very cute holder. Um, it's, it's almost like, I don't know, like a crocodile print kind of, but silver. Um, and then it has the, uh, what do they call these grommets or whatever, um, all across the bottom. And then the actual coasters are a similar design and I just thought it looked really sleek and really cute and it was on clearance for just $8 which is such a great deal for a set of coasters, especially the quality. They're just a very good quality, um, like you can feel how heavy and well made these are. So I was really excited when I saw that little set so I picked that up. And then I also found this really cute pair of white tennis shoes. I've been wanting a pair of just plain white tennis shoes for a while and we're actually planning a trip to Disney World coming up here in a couple weeks and I wanted a comfortable pair of shoes to wear. So I thought these would be perfect for walking around the park. Um, and they're a nice um, kind of, I don't, I don't think it's real leather, like a faux leather, but super easy to keep clean. I think you can just like wipe them down with a baby wipe to keep them clean because they, um, you know, they're that kind of material where you can 
easily just wipe it clean. It's not canvas or anything. Um, and they're by Guess. And these were only, they were only $29.99, which I thought was a super good deal. So I got those. And then I also found this cute little decor item. It's just a gold um, metal little piece that says dream on it. And again, since I'm planning to extend out my desk area, I thought it would be nice to have a few more decor pieces to kind of fill it in once I get that done. Oh, and by the way, that one was uh, $9.99. Okay, and then I got myself another journal. Um, this was on clearance. It is a little bit beat up. Like, there's some um, creasing going on, and then the little gold heart has a couple spots that are rubbed away. But it was on clearance for just $2.50, and I bought this more for practical reasons because I need some more um, little journals like this. I use these types of journals for my YouTube planning, and I'm always filling them up, so I needed a new one. So that is what this guy is for. And then the last non-beauty related item is this super adorable mug. This is so freaking cute. It says wake up and be happy in gold and then it has just like the pink with white polka dots and just white inside and the gold handle. I just I think this is so freaking cute and this was only $4.99. I love the size of it too by the way. It's a really good substantial size mug which I always enjoy because I am definitely a coffee addict. I I drink probably way too much coffee, but I just think this is super cute. So that will definitely be getting a lot of use from me. Okay, you guys ready for this? Are you ready? Prepare yourselves. Get your keys ready. You're gonna be making a trip after this. I'm gonna start showing you all of the beauty finds I found. So first of all, I found this Spongibles um, little sponge and I just thought it was really cute. So um, I love these types of sponges that are like infused with body wash. I've had some from Sponge L before, um, but this one is from Spongibles and this is the Blushing Bellini Cleanse, Exfoliate, Massage and Moisturize Anti-Cellulite Sponge. Um, so yeah, I definitely think I will be um, enjoying this guy and it was on clearance too by the way for only $4.50 So really good deal for that guy next up. Oh my goodness I was so excited when I found these now This is something I shared with you guys on snapchat and I think I might have also posted posted a picture on my Instagram um, Which the links for those will be down below for you guys, but these are the melted metal lipsticks from Too Faced and um, I have three I found three different shades this one here is metallic melted bunny I I also got metallic dream house and then the last one was metallic tutu so these were only $5.99 each you guys $5.99 yes you heard that right that's how much they were so when I found these I picked up every color they had available times two so this set here I just showed you is for myself and then I saved um, three more one of each of the shades for you guys for a future giveaway and I have not even swatched them yet so I'm gonna do a quick swatch for you guys Interesting. They seem a little sheer, even though they're metallic. So that is the Melted Bunny. It is like a sheer, almost um, hot pink with obviously the metallic finish. Super pretty. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. That first one might have just needed shook, shaken up a little bit because I shook this one first. <gasps> Look at that color. It's like a metallic coral color. This is the metallic tutu. Oh, my gosh. I am going to be wearing that to death in the spring. That is so pretty. Yes, I'm so excited. Okay, so this one is very bright fuchsia and obviously the metallic finish once again and that's the dream house right there on the bottom. Super pretty. I'm excited mostly for these two. Um, that one might work better as I, you know, work with it. I feel like maybe I just got it a little too watery when I first applied that one for the swatch. So yay, I'm excited about those and I'm definitely excited that I picked up extras for you guys too. Next up, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm just like so excited about everything I found. These are the Anastasia lip lip glosses. You guys know I talk about the ones that I have. I have like five shades already all the time on my channel because it is my favorite formula for a lip gloss and I found four shades that I did not already own. They had a couple that I already owned, but these were on sale for $9.99. So that's like half off. They're $20 each normally. And the four shades I got, this first one is called Candy. Ooh, it's a super pretty pink. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for these. Yes, oh my gosh. So that's the first one. That one is called Candy. It's just a really fun, bright pink. These colors are all like screaming spring to me. I cannot wait for spring. Oh, I'm so ready for spring. It's been snowing so much here and I'm just like over it. Um, so the next shade I found is called Flame and it looks like a 
very bright orange color. Wow, it's kind of an orangey red though. It does lean a little bit red, but it's very, very orange. And that's that one right there, right on my wrist. So the next one is called Hibiscus, and this looks like kind of a deeper coral. Honestly, actually, this one even leans more red when it's next to the uh, flame color. So that's Hibiscus right there. That is really, really pretty. They're quite different. They're looking very similar on camera, but they are quite different in person. Um, this one is more like a corally red and this is more orange. Actually, it's just orange. It doesn't even look red now that I have the other one next to it. So excited for that. And then the last shade I found is called Weekend Barbie. And, oh, it has glitter. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that one had glitter. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, wow. Look at that color. It's like a metallic finish. Metallic lips are hugely in right now. So, yeah, I'm so excited. That was a total score. Super excited about that. And then the rest of this I got yesterday when I went, oh, you guys, you guys are going to freak out when you see all of this. I found the Karuna Masks. These, you guys know, is another product I talk about constantly on my channel because I love them. These are the four packs, so you get four of the individual fa face masks in here. So normally, it says it's a $20 value. I know it's a, it's way more than that. I know that the individual masks are, uh, what, $7 each at Sephora? Um, seven or eight, I can't remember right now off the top of my head, but you're getting four of them in here for $9.99. So I got the clarifying face mask four pack and I also got the antioxidant one. I got one set each for myself and then I actually found two of each of them. So these sets, uh, one of them is for a friend who asked me to pick them up if I found them for her and the other one I'm putting aside for a giveaway. Next up, I was so surprised to see this there because it was the only one um, and this is from Buxom. These we still carry in store full price we haven't discontinued any of the shades, so I'm re I was really surprised to see this. Um, but this is the shade Moonlighter, and basically these are um, $21 if you buy it at Sephora. I got it for $5.99 there. They're like a very moussey consistency liquid lipstick. So they're one of the liquid lipsticks that don't completely set all the way, but they're more comfortable because they're not super, super drying like some of the uh, more traditional liquid lipsticks. And this is just a kind of a almost like a raspberry red color. So it's got a little bit of a pink undertone. That's it right there on the end. So yeah, I'm really excited that I found this for such a good deal because I kind of wanted to just pick up one to have one to try it and to compare it to other liquid lipsticks. So when I saw it for $5.99, I was like, yep, taking that one home. But that was the only one I found there. I didn't find any other colors and this was the last one of this shade too. So really scored on that. I also found some things on clearance that I was really surprised. So I've seen this there before, but didn't pick it up um, because it, it was a good deal, but it wasn't a great deal. Well, I found this one on clearance. It It's called the, um, it's the Dr. Brandt Flaws No More Triple Peptide Eye Cream. So I love everything I've ever tried from Dr. Brandt. It's a very, very good skincare line. And I've tried some of his other eye creams, but I have not tried this one before. And this was on clearance for $8. $8 for a full size. This was a retail value of $38. So, oh my gosh. I Again, I feel like I just stole it, but I didn't. Um, so yeah, that's it right there. And I cannot wait to try it. I can't wait. $8. I also found this there. And um, this was only $2.49. So I thought I would give it a try. It's the... I don't usually buy drugstore um, makeup items from TJ Maxx because it's not that great of a savings because you can usually find really good sales at the drugstore on these. But this one just seemed intriguing to me. This is the Milani Brow and Eye Highlighter. I don't think I saw this in my drugstore before, but one side is matte and one side has a shimmer and it's just a brow highlight pen. So I thought I would try it. It's only $2.49. I also found this set from Laura Geller. It's another product I've seen there before, but I didn't splurge because it was a little pricey. This was on clearance for $16. $16, you guys. Such a great deal for the amount of product you're getting in this. Let me pop this open so I can show you. All right, so in here you're getting these four items. So first of all, you're getting a full size of the blush uh, baked gelato in rose water. So I have, I think, just one of these, and 
I love it. I don't own this shade, so I was really excited to pick this up, this set up mostly for this product. It's a really good formula for a blush. It just gives you like a beautiful kind of a shimmery uh, wash of color. That's the swatch. Oops, bad place to swatch. That's it right there. It's kind of a dusty pink color. Super, super pretty. Very excited about that. So it also comes with a full-size baked gelato um, eyeshadow in the shade Caramel, which I would honestly even maybe use this as a highlight. It looks like a beautiful golden color. Yeah, I would totally use that as a highlight too. Or an eyeshadow, either way. Um, there's... Why do I keep swatching in weird places? I don't know. Come on, Lisa, get it together. That's it right there. So it's just a really pretty golden color. So yeah, that would make a fantastic highlighter. I would totally use that for that. Super pretty. Then it also came with this Love Me Do uh, lip crayon in Mango. Mango Sorbet. So just a really easy to wear, throw it on kind of product. And then the last thing is this double-ended brush, which I know to me is something I'm never going to use. On one side it has a very poor quality brush and on the other side you get this spongy applicator tip so that's something I'm not going to use but for the rest of the products $16 was totally a great deal alright and then the last thing that I found which I was so surprised to see there is from Mac you guys now they had two different versions of this little set this is called the look in a box set they had two versions this was kind of the lighter um, sweeter set and then the other one was like a vampy darker color set which I didn't think I would use the products in that set so I did not pick that one up um, because these were uh, $39.99 so a little bit pricey but for the amount of product that you're getting it's definitely a great deal so this is what comes inside so you're getting a full size MAC lipstick and it is in this particular set it is the um, study going is the name of the shade um, oh and this this set by the way is called sweet miss so study going that is a really pretty color it kinda looks like snob when I'm just looking at it in the bullet oh very pretty it's a matte it looks like yeah it's a retro matte is the finish so that's the shade right there it looks really really pretty um, so definitely we'll be getting use out of that guy. So it came with that. It also came with two full-size eyeshadows. This one here is kind of a taupey color. This is called Ginger Rooted. This is also a shade I didn't own. I didn't own any of these colors, which is why I felt like this was a good deal for me. So yeah, it's a pretty kind of a uh, taupey uh, metallic finish. And the other full-size eyeshadow is called Hearts of Flutter. And it's just kind of a peachy uh, pink matte shade so a good like highlight type of shade brow bone highlight maybe because it's matte it's not gonna swatch very well because it's pretty close to my skin tone um definitely will get some use out of that though and then it came with a small like a mini size of a blush a little mini size blush in this shade fiji and it looks beautiful it's just kind of a sweet um, kind of a dusty pink color so that's it on my wrist right there very wearable definitely will get use out of that guy as well um, it also came with a full-size eyeliner, and this is the the technical liner in Photo Graver. Graver, I don't know how you say that. Um, I think it's just a matte brown. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's just a matte brown. It's one of the uh, the roll-up kind, so I like the formula on these better than the actual standard pencils. Also in the set came a little baby brush. This is not a good quality brush whatsoever. It's a, um, very similar to the one from the last set from Laura Geller. It's a brush I will not be using, so that I'll be probably sending to Glambot. Um, and then the last item in here is one of their lip glasses in the shade uh love day pink and it's kind of uh, a little bit sheer um just a really pretty light pink color so that's the swatch for that guy so that's everything that came in this set um like i mentioned though there was two different versions of this i just only picked up the the lighter version so those are the amazing products I found at TJ Maxx the last couple weeks that I really wanted to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you have a TJ Maxx near you that you can go check out yourselves. But if you have questions, comments, anything like that, make sure to leave those below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe because it does mean absolutely so much to me. Uh, also, I do have a giveaway going on right now. If you have not checked it out yet, I will go ahead and link it above. It is my 20,000 subscriber giveaway, yay! And there's some amazing prizes in there with three winners. So make sure to check that out if you have not already. And yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.